eggs! What are these? Are they chicken eggs? But, if these were in the house destroyed by the air raid, then that means... Uh, Could the food here be a ghost too? Is it possible for food to become a spirit? Are eggs considered living things? Or are they treated like other inanimate objects? Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any other ghost food. That's strange. If the target really does live in this house, then how come they've never opened the cupboard with the eggs before? And these napkins. There's no wrinkles or anything on them. Doesn't look like they've been touched by anyone. Even the sandpaper on these matches looks brand new. No sign of strike marks. If it were me, I would have used a ton of matches just trying to see what would catch on fire. Or is this guy not even curious enough to lick the salt in a chip bag? Oops. Ah! Oh, it moved? I... I felt it. Inside the eggshell. That's impossible. This house was blown up in an explosion. But... I definitely felt something move. Huh? Oh. Oh. <clears throat> what? What the hell? on. The two eggs I just put on the table. It, it can't be. What the hell is going on here? The eggs I just placed on the table. They're gone? That's not possible. They must have rolled off the table and fell without breaking. I can't believe this! Eggs? What the hell are they doing in there? Ah. What the hell are these eggs? Are they alive? But if they're ghosts, and not living, then how are they able to move? The eggshell. It's... that can't be. It's hatching? This is ridiculous! An unborn egg is growing. But only living things are supposed to be able to grow. Ghosts do not... Could this be another law of the universe? No. There can only be one explanation. This isn't a ghost! This is... 
Thing. Oh. It's in my arm! <clears throat> these... These eggs! What was... What the hell was being born from them? This is bad. I'm in serious trouble. It's moving! It's climbing up from the inside of my arm! Shit! some plant-like thing in my arm. It's trying to turn it into something by devouring me from the inside. This is just a guess, but I think I'm starting to understand what these are now. The things being born in front of me are cleansers. They exist in some form, in every world. It's a matter of fact that cleansers are important everywhere in life. These must be spirit cleansers. Just as certain types of organisms exist to decompose corpses, these exist to cleanse the souls of the dead and prevent them from overflowing the world. It's too late! I've got no choice but to get rid of it! Damn! You lousy piece of. Get the hell off me! What happens to things that are cleansed? to reach the spirit world? That is, if it really does exist. The table back then essentially melted, turning into insects. My arm was starting to change too. Is this one of the laws of the universe? And if so, where do these things come from? Oh! was a nest. They're trying to cleanse me because I touched the eggs. I'm in trouble. What do I do? How many did I touch? Three? Four? And how many of those eggs did I touch without breaking? Huh? <laughs> They're catching up to me. Damn. Where is it? Which room is it? Where is it? There must be another Yumeji painting in one of these rooms. There was one hanging on the wall in the soldier's photo. was here. Can't be serious. Schubert Swan Song. Mozart's Piano Concerto Number no. 27. These records are 78 RPM. I could have spent the night listening to these records in that room. My name is Yoshikage Kira. 
I can't remember the reason why I died. But one thing I can say for certain is that I will not go to heaven. What will I do from here on? I don't have the answer to that either. But as time goes on, eventually, I may find some sort of happiness in making my job my purpose for living. So, the target was out, huh? That monk, did she really send me here without knowing about the eggs? Or, she said 56 people committed suicide or died of mysterious causes near this place. I'll look into those numbers. And if what she told me wasn't correct, I think that so-called saint will find out for herself whether or not the spirit world actually exists. <laughs> anyway, what bothers me the most is that I lost my left arm. I wonder if I could replace it with that monk's. In any case, it's still a beautiful blue sky. But, where am I going to rest tonight? What a beautiful Luang. There must be no other place as pretty as this town. <laughs> this feels like a picnic. <laughs>